Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Mira. So today, for DIY Thursday, I'm going to be doing a video on the oil cleansing method. Last week on my channel, I did a video about all of the benefits of coconut oil and how you can use it as a makeup remover and a cleanser. So today I'm going to be discussing the oil cleansing method, how it's used, what oils to use, and how it can benefit your skin. So let's get started. How the oil cleansing method works is by the principle that like dissolves like. So some people thought if like dissolves like, then obviously oil should dissolve oil, causing your skin to produce less sebum, causing in more pimples, whiteheads, and blackheads. And it also has the ability to dissolve the blackheads and whiteheads and pimples on your skin. It's also really beneficial for wrinkles because it is very moisturizing. So the main combo of oils used in the oil cleansing method is castor oil and olive oil. Here I have 30% castor oil and 70% olive oil. Castor oil is an oil that many people don't usually know, but it is a very drying... I just dropped my oil. But it... <laughs> But it is a very drying oil because it's supposedly pulling all of the toxins and impurities out of your skin. Now, castor oil, that's why it's not for everyone. That's why you have to mix it with olive oil or any other carrier oil of your choice. So I have in here olive oil, but I tried this mixture for a month to see if my pimples and acne responded to it. And this was before I went on prescription medication, so I tried this. Honestly, I didn't really like this combination at all. It was so drying, and I really felt like my acne was getting worse rather than better. And that's the thing with the oil cleansing method I hear a lot. It's like, oh, there's a purging phase, and things are gonna get worse before they get better. I didn't really get that, because if oil dissolves oil, it's supposedly bringing all the pimples to the surface. I didn't get why there should be a purging phase, but there was, I guess, but I only gave it a month, because honestly, I didn't want my skin to look really bad. So I stopped that mixture. Then, since I've been on my prescription medication, I've actually been doing the oil cleansing method with coconut oil. I feel like I talk about coconut oil in every single video, but this is a great oil to do the oil cleansing method with because it has so many great properties. First of all, it's not drying as an oil. Second of all, it is antimicrobial, antibacterial, and it is anti-inflammatory. So this has so many great benefits to your skin, making it a great cleanser for people with acne or acne-prone skin. Because again, this is antibacterial, so it'll dissolve all the bacteria on the surface of your skin. This is also great for wrinkles because it's just gonna smooth out those wrinkles because of the hydration in coconut oil. Now, it's really easy to do. I'm just gonna demonstrate on my hand, but you just take a little bit of oil. Ooh, that was a lot of oil. And you just wanna rub it into your skin. And while you're rubbing it into your skin, you really wanna give yourself a massage. And massage in upwards motions because upwards motions will help to bring the clogs up and to help with the wrinkles and just bring them upwards and dissolve them. Try not to go downwards, that can cause sagging skin. But you're just gonna wanna massage. Now the first time you do it, I've heard people felt like bumps and clogs coming out on their skin. I really didn't get that reaction the first time I did it, but I guess some people did. But if you just keep on going in upwards motions, you will like start to feel it. Now this can be uncomfortable for some people like just massaging your skin because you do feel all the bumps. I felt a little self-conscious the first time I did it. I hate feeling like my bumps on my skin, but my skin has honestly gotten a lot better since starting to do this method. Now you wanna be really gentle with your skin too because it is skin. You can warm it up in your hands and then do it or whatever else. This is a great makeup remover and people recommend moving it, removing it with a hot cloth afterwards. And if you're just trying the oil cleansing method alone, 
then you can leave your skin alone for the whole day because your skin's going to be hydrated. Just make sure that you use some form of SPF. Or, like I do, you can remove it with a cleanser, which is what I do. I remove it with my Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleanser, which I actually did Monday for my hashtag review Monday. But I really like that cleanser because it's not drying. And the thing is, if you have a really drying cleanser that you have to use for your skin, this is a great thing to put beforehand because it makes it a whole ton less drying. Let me tell you that. Alright guys, so that was my thorough review on the oil cleansing method. I do recommend it. Um, you can try it with castor oil first. The only bad thing about castor oil is expensive and it's drying. And I found so much better results with coconut oil. But, whatever works for you, try it. I really recommend the oil cleansing method. I actually only did it with olive oil for one month too. And olive oil has some benefits, not as many as coconut oil or castor oil, but it's still the same properties. Oil dissolves oil. So you can really try it with any oil that you have in your house. Probably not vegetable oil or anything, because, I mean, you can try it. I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for this video on hashtag DIY Thursday. This is really inexpensive depending on the oils that you use, but it is really effective. All right guys, I will see you in my next hashtag review Monday, or if I decide to do another video, you will see me then. All right, bye guys.